Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're doing a cellar update on a beer from Port Brewing and this is Board Meeting. It's their brown ale with coffee and cocoa nibs or cacao nibs, 8.5% ABV. Probably a beer you should not age, but I wanted to see what this beer would do with a year of age on it. So that date has finally come and I got it poured out. It's a, it's a ball conditioned beer so you got a really nice head on there. It's like a light, lighter brown. And uh, color-wise, it's, it's a very dark beer. I wouldn't call it black though. There's some really dark mahogany notes, but definitely brown in color. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's a lot fruitier than I remember it. Certainly some chocolate coming through, but the, the coffee's pretty, pretty much faded. Although, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit in there, but it's kind of morphed into different flavors. Does it get almost like a slight citrus tinge to it? Um, a lot of raisin notes. Uh, definitely a bready presence, some caramel notes. Yeah, it's um, some kind of dark berry, almost like a cherry note to it. So it's definitely changed a lot. Uh, let's dig in, cheers. Still holds up pretty nice. It's just a different beer at this point. Getting a lot less of the coffee character. Although there is some left. It's just not as pronounced and I, I want to say the coffee almost adds like a citrus note to it. Uh, it's got a nice medium body, nice sort of toffee, uh, sort of nutty character coming through as well. You still get some chocolate character from the nibs, but I want to say you get more of the nuttier, fruitier character out of the nibs. I know some different nibs are going to vary, but and maybe even a slight citrus note. I keep picking up this very subtle slight citrus. I don't know if that's coming from the coffee or the nibs. Could be both. I, I, I know both can have that type of character. And that's what I'm picking up more of because the coffee's not dominating as much. Uh, the, the chocolate's there. It's more of like a milk chocolate than dark chocolate. It's very light, kind of characteristic to the beer. A lot more of those darker fruits are coming forward. That sort of cherry note is present as well. The caramel's there, slight breadiness. Still has some sweetness up front, but it has a, a fairly dry finish. Alcohol as well, mass can't smell it, can't taste it. It's basically a pretty Danishly drinkable beer. I guess the ultimate question though is, is this beer better than it was fresh, having a year, a slightly over a year on it? And I would say no. I think this is a beer you want to drink on the fresh end. You're going to want that fresh coffee aromatic and, and let the, the nibs kind of do their thing. And they've kind of faded out of the picture. More of the brown ale comes up underneath, being a, more of imperial brown ale, 8.5%. The beer is aged fine, and, and the base beer definitely holds its own. Uh, with the extra ingredients kind of not as prominent as they used to be. So there's, there's a nice beer underneath with some age, but yeah, I'd recommend it. If you come across an old bottle, I wouldn't say don't get it because it's drinking really nice right now. It's just, it's better fresh. It's got, it's not that the flavors have dulled. They've, they've mingled nicely, but I think I appreciate more of that, that fresher characteristic to the beer. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good beer and it's, it's a beer I'm glad Port came out with because it works well with their lineup of hoppy beers and then kind of bridges the gap between those beers and Old Viscosity. So, and, and even Angel, well I guess it's Lost Abbey Brand, but um, uh, Santa's Little Helper is the other one I was trying to think of, Purell Stout. So. Yeah, um, age version, fine. Get this one fresh if you can. And uh, I'm sure it'd be even better on draft if you can find it that way. So that's going to wrap up this seller update review. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.